Hello. You should be able to hear me good, right? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, R.E. Garrison, right? Correct. Yes, sir. All right, all right. You, you guys is with the with the pretty trucks. All right. Uh, thank oh, you. Yeah. For, uh, thank you for uh, reaching out to me, man. I really do appreciate it. Um, you know, I sent some uh, sent some questions to you via uh, Facebook, I believe. Um, all right. So, can you tell me uh, a little bit more about the company and what you guys have to offer? Sure, sure. Yeah, we're an OTR company. Uh, we pull reefers, hauling produce and chicken, uh, mostly. Uh, you get into some barrios foods and some Milo's tea. Uh, but you'd be going as a solo driver as far as Texas, the Midwest, Northeast, and Southeast. Be out anywhere from two to three weeks at a time, then back home for two or three days. Hmm. Does that sound like something you'd be in- interested in? Interesting, interesting. So uh, you guys like haul reefers and stuff like that. So. I'm assuming you guys do uh, Walmart as well. Uh, some, yes, sir. Okay, so my question is this: um, What is the detention time? The average detention time for drivers uh, during the time where they have to wait for their load and unload? Uh, Lord, I couldn't tell you. You know the you know the average time, uh, but no, we do pay detention. Okay, so how how did how did that work? Uh, does it work when the driver say like his appointment time when he gets there on the lot, or when he gets there checked in with the with the shipper and or receiver? Uh, well, when you check in, uh, you're looking at uh, it's uh, for a comp. Are you looking to be a company driver or lease purchase? Uh, we could talk about both sides, but you, we can concentrate on the company. All right, as a company driver, after your first three hours, you'd get $20 an hour with a maximum pay up to $200 per day on detention. Three hours? Yes, sir. Wow. So on average, if I was to if, if I was to uh, get to a shipper and or receiver to get unloaded, and it was so on average, it is three hours before we start to get paid and we have to be there on time. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume on time in order to. Yes, sir. Yeah. In order to yes. get that detention pay. Yes, sir. But now, you know, I, I've heard the driver managers talk to their drivers and, you know, if there's a, a special occurrence or something or if something happens, if, if you're late or anything because of the shipper, I mean, they're going to pay you. I mean, you're going to get paid they're, and they compensate very well. Uh, you know, they usually just throw out a good number, uh, you know, if, if you have any detention at all. But but that's going to be on the minimum side, $20 yeah. after the first three hours per hour, max 200 a day. Now, if you're a lease purchase driver, it's a $40 an hour after the first three hours uh, with a max $400 a day. Okay, so why 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 isn't that given to the uh, given to the company driver? I mean, that, to me, well, I would think you, you get, I would think that would be in reverse that you guys would give that uh, that twenty dollars to the lease driver and at least give the the forty dollars to the company driver. That's well, that's as just a company me. driver, you you yeah. get paid empty or loaded. But now with the lease purchase, so you'd be cutting into your uh, if you have any deadhead, you'd be cutting into that time. So they pay more for detention. Mm, okay okay awesome awesome uh all right how much uh how much experience uh do we need coming into the company uh gotta have at least 12 months over the road mm-hmm. all right uh coming in uh coming in uh, coming into company with uh at least that versus uh a guy like myself that has six years what would be the pay between the both uh Company, uh, fifty four cents per mile, empty or loaded. Mm-hmm. And that's and and that's for guys with one years of experience versus guys like myself that has six years of experience. No, uh, one year, twelve months would be fifty two cents a mile, empty or loaded. Uh, having more than two years, 
two years or more, it'd be fifty four cents a mile. Okay, all right, fifty, and that's no strings attached. Fifty four cent a mile. That's no, no bonus added, no incentives added. That's just fifty four cent a mile coming into the door. Yes, sir. Yeah, fifty four cents a mile, and then you can earn another cent and a half per mile performance safety bonus, which is achieved quarterly. Uh, you can earn sixty nine dollars a day per diem which is non-taxable. And then we've got uh, a new referral program uh, after you come aboard and start driving with us. If you refer any other drivers uh, for the first six months, they're here. Every loaded mile they pull, you earn two cents a mile. Uh, You can refer as many drivers as you'd like, and you get paid on that uh, every week. Okay. Uh, Let me, let me back up a little bit. Um, As far as the, as far as I want to touch on the referral, but you you just mentioned as far as uh coming to, uh coming in kind of kind of threw me for a loop right there but i i guess i'll touch on that so the drivers so let's say i refer somebody i'm i'm on you know i'm on with you guys and all like that i i won't get no uh no like a 500 dollar type deal it has to be after they're driving with you guys for six months, then I would get two cents for every mile that they drive? You get that in addition to a referral bonus. Okay. If you refer a team, it uh, be $2,500 team referral. Uh, if it's a solo driver, company, or lease purchase, it's a $1,000 referral. Okay. How How is that paid out, though? Uh, the thousand dollars the first month is one hundred and fifty. Three months, one hundred and fifty. Six months, two hundred. Nine months, two hundred and fifty. And twelve months, another two hundred and fifty thousand total. So, a whole year, give or take, when when I refer somebody. Yes, sir. The you'll get the full thousand over a year span. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Plus an additional two cent for every mile that they drive. Loaded mile. But for every loaded mile that they drive, it's it's two cents. Oh, okay. Okay. Correct. Yes. Okay. Uh all right. Well what type of what type of benefits do you guys offer? Uh after your first ninety days, uh it's health, vision, dental, uh disability. Uh we've got four oh one K retirement. And then we're also an ESOP company, which is employee-owned. Uh, you can earn stock in the company based on your annual income. Uh, you would be partially vested after your first year and fully vested after three years. I'm not a I'm I'm not a fan of the ESOP uh, program. I, I I work for I used to work for a company that uh, offered ESOP program, and that mm, that just that that's just don't that just don't rub me right but it's cool that you guys offer it though um so 90 days after you know after you know the benefits kick in the health and everything is the health uh is the health benefits company paid or is it half paid uh probably one fourth i know what i used to pay i'm self well still am self-employed but i work with uh ari garrison but uh, I think I pay right out around two thirty five a week, and that's for fam. Uh oh, did I lose you? Hello, I think I lost you. Oh, hold on. But it would be much hey. less, you know, if you're single or if you've got only a spouse. Okay, okay. Um, now, as far as home time, because you mentioned earlier in our conversation that. Uh, this is OTR. So, do you guys have any uh, uh I- any other lanes or any other like uh regional routes, uh dedicated routes or anything like that? Uh, you're living in Ohio, is that correct? Yes. Uh, no, sir. No, it would uh, not dedicate it out of there. Uh, but you would be going, like I said, Texas, Midwest, Northeast, Southeast. Now, the majority of our freight is in the southeast, Mm -hmm. uh, but we do have enough freight going northeast or up in Ohio. We can get you home. That's no problem. Okay. Now, as far as as far as getting home. So let's say if I would like to get home every week, is that possible? Uh, Normally, you're out two to three weeks. Okay. All right. What's the uh, what's the equipment that you guys drive uh, that you guys have and what are they governing that? 
uh, 2001 to uh, 2021, 2022 Freightliner Cascadias. They're all automatics. Uh, they're governed 65 at the pedal and 70 on cruise. Okay, okay, that's what's up. What about uh, what about driver facing cameras? No, no, we do not do that. It's forward facing camera only. All right, all right. Uh, now you mentioned Northeast. Are you guys? Uh, are you guys? Uh, As a company driver, it would be a forced dispatch. A lease purchase would not be. All right. So, as a company driver, do you guys pay extra for running in the Northeast? Uh, well, those loads actually pay a lot more than the Southeast, due to you know the travel expense there is you know more costly. But no, we don't go into New York City. We stay out of there. Oh, okay, okay. Um, is there a sign-on bonus? Or let me rephrase that. Uh, we, we shouldn't even call it a sign-on bonus. Is there a retention bonus? How's that? Uh, well, for a company, there's not a sign-on or retention, but you get paid uh, $250 or or it- We will send you to do a drug screen before you come in, which is a year analysis. That's fifty dollars. Online training's fifty. Online learning's fifty, and the videos that you watch and answer some questions is fifty. So total, you can earn up to four hundred fifty dollars uh, before you get here for orientation. Okay, I, I I didn't hear you as far as the drug screening go. You say uh you say urine, right? Correct. Okay. Uh so I you know, I talked to a few drivers and you know, I've seen a few of you guys trucks out there. Um now a couple of drivers have their own opinions, you know, uh a few of them that's in the that's in the Facebook group that I'm in, you know, they they definitely have their own opinions on the company. Um uh, being that you don't do a uh, sign on bonus, how do you guys retain your drivers? I'm sorry, you cut out on me. I, I didn't uh, hear that part. Well, I mean, we pretty much we've got all the freight that you could possibly haul. Uh, we'll keep you as busy as you want to be, because uh, the more you know, the the more you do, the more you make, and uh, you know, in, in return, the more the company can make. Hmm. All right. Do you do you help drivers get their CDLs if they don't have it? Uh, what we do is if. Someone wants to come in and and obtain a CDL. They would have to team with one of our drivers, and we would uh, pay for the schooling. You know, get everything lined up. Uh, you you pick the school of your your choice, and then uh, we would help set everything up and pay for it. And then uh, they would team drive with another driver for at least twelve months before they could go solo. Okay, okay, that's what's up. Um, now, as far as orientation, because you know what, well, it's a two-part question now because you already answered the the uh, pre-employment screening. But how would you get me up? Well, first thing first, where's orientation? How would you get me there? And it's the hotel solo. Here at our home terminal, Coleman, Alabama. That's about an hour north of Birmingham. Uh, we would pay for a bus ticket or a plane flight to get you here. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, if you wanted to do a rental instead, we can make those arrangements and pay for it up front. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we would take the uh, the uh, rental out of your settlement over two or three weeks. We'd break it out into equal amounts. Uh, whoa, 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 wait. Whoa. So if I get the rental, you guys will pay for it, but you guys going to want your money back for it? We pay. We can make the arrangement. We can get the rental for you uh-huh. and pay for it up front. Right, but you guys, in a couple of weeks, y'all going to take that rental amount back from me. So, in other words, you you guys don't 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 pay for the rental. We do. No, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um. Well, all righty then. Um, and what about the hotel stay solo, or or we got to be in a room with somebody? I mean, you know, this is oh Corona no, season, no, we right? would no, yeah, we would never ask you to do that. But yeah, for one night, because orientation is just one day. So if you come in, say this afternoon, orientation is tomorrow. We'll pay for a company driver's motel tonight. 
Oh, okay. Um, before I get up off the phone, uh, you you did say uh, uh, lease purchase, so I I just have a two part question on that. Is is the is the driver get paid cent per mile or is it percentage? And how much is the trucks a week? Uh, it's a percentage. It's seventy two percent of the line haul, and then you also get a hundred percent of the build fuel surcharge. So whatever the shipper pays, as far as the fuel surcharge, you get all of that. And and uh, the trucks, uh, 21, 22 models, uh, truck payment uh, starts out at eight eighty five a week and can go as high as nine fifty a week for a new one. Is it a walk away lease or no? Yes, it is a walk away lease. No, no money down, no credit check. It's a walk away lease. All righty. All righty. Well, thank you very much, man. Uh, I appreciate you, uh, your time in answering my questions, man. Uh, I will definitely put this in my pocket, and I will take this back to my group and share it with them. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Hey, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Hey, you too now. Take it easy. Yes, sir. Thank you.